Some carnivorous pitcher plants act as natural echo chambers that help bats find them using sound alone. Certain pitcher plants, such as Nepenthes hemsleyana, have inner surfaces that strongly reflect ultrasound. When bats emit echolocation calls while flying through the forest, these plants bounce the sound straight back, making them stand out clearly against the noisy background of leaves and branches. To a bat, the plant doesn't just look different, it sounds different. For bats, these pitcher plants offer a cool, sheltered roost, protection from rain, predators, and parasites, and a quiet resting spot during the day. Unlike typical pitchers that trap insects, these bat-friendly plants have evolved to be less lethal to their flying tenants. The relationship is mutual bats get a safe place to rest and plants get fertilizer. Bat droppings, guano, fall directly into the pitcher, providing a rich source of nitrogen, a valuable nutrient in the poor soils where these plants grow. Instead of digesting insects, the plant relies heavily on bat waste for nourishment. This partnership is a brilliant example where both species benefit and adapt to each other over time. The plant advertises itself acoustically, and the bat learns to listen for the perfect echo. It's proof that in nature, survival isn't always about teeth or traps. Sometimes it's about good acoustics and cooperation.